So today uh, we want to talk about infantry model. So uh, what is infantry model? So infantry model is trying to explain bit of spread. And the reason they try to explain is to say uh, market, maker, market maker has some risk. And bit last spread is that the cost of uh, immediacy or cost liquidity because you can allow people to buy and sell at the same time without any time delay. So in order to provide this that comes to the cost, there will be risk associated to the market maker. For example, the risk can be something like uh, for a money changer, the money changer may run out of different currency. Suppose you want to change US dollar to uh, Euro. And if a lot of people buying US dollar, then may, you run out of US dollar. So, or the risk will be involved saying that uh, the uh, market maker do not hold the optimal portfolio because people come and buy and sell and uh, the original optimal portfolio will be deviate. So there is some risk associated with that. So there's a risk of being market maker. Or uh, in the other class, we talk about uh, there is some people who have uh, superior information, but the market maker don't have information. Uh, so trading with those people involves uh, certain risk. And uh, we focus on this market. In this market, uh, there will be market maker. And this is different from uh, today's uh, most equity or stock market that uh, don't have market maker. Market maker is the dealer who holds some inventory, uh, who holds some stock or money to trade with you. And they also quote the buying price and selling price. This happened in the old days, even before 90s, uh, US uh, New York stock market, they use market maker. So the market maker uh, exists is because they need to provide liquidity. We need them to provide the buying price and selling price or bid last price to people and in order to compensate for the surface or the risk they carry so they need to make money from the bid ask spread so the risk we are looking into is when the buy order flow is not equal to sell order flow which means uh, they may not uh, the stock may not have enough money or the stock at some time because of imbalance of buy and sell or demand and supply is not coming at the same time um, so it may run out of money or stock so the model we are talking looking will be based on the government model in 1976 uh, called market microstructure 